Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot the top five reasons why your dishwasher won't fill with water. Stick around to the end of the video for some important tips on how to improve your dishwasher's performance. But before we begin, we're going to make sure the appliance is unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the water supply underneath the sink. First thing to check is the water inlet valve. It's what lets the water into the dishwasher. The water inlet valve is made up of the bracket, the valve body, and the solenoid. It's located down in front behind the access panel. If the dishwasher won't fill with water, it could be that the valve is clogged or failing. Without water in the tub, the dishwasher can't complete the cycle. Make sure the valve underneath the sink is all the way open and that you have good water pressure going to the dishwasher. You can also take the water line off to inspect and clean the screen if you have that type of valve. If the water pressure and screen are good, it could be that the solenoid has gone bad. To see if it's failed, we'll have to test it for continuity. In order to see if the part can carry an electric current, we have to test it with a multimeter set to continuity. Once you have it set, touch the probes together to make sure it's working. Once you have access to the valve, you'll have to remove the wires and touch a test probe to each terminal. If you don't get a reading, then the solenoid has failed and you'll have to replace the valve. If you need to order a part, simply go to AppliancePartsPros.com and type in your model number. Find your part on the easy to read diagrams and match it to the number below. Click on the part if you want to see more pictures of the item or watch its repair video. You can also scroll down to see DIY stories from customers like you or ask a question in the Q&A section. Once you're ready, you can add the part to your cart. It's that easy. Most orders will arrive within two business days. Next thing to check is the float switch. It's a safety device that shuts off the water once the tub is full. Float switches are usually little micro switches. They're made out of plastic, have wire terminals, and a button to activate the contacts inside. If you open up the dishwasher door, the float will usually be in the left or right front corner. The switch is directly below that, right behind the access panel. If the dishwasher won't fill with water, it could be that the contacts inside the switch have failed and power isn't being sent to the valve, we'll have to test it for continuity to see if it's failed. Once you have the access panel off, you'll be able to see the switch. Depending upon the design, you might just be able to take the wires off right there, or you may have to remove the switch from the holder. When you have the wires off, touch a probe to each terminal. When you press the button down, as if the tank was empty, it should have continuity. Then when you let the button up, as if the tub was full, it should not have continuity. If it doesn't have continuity when pressed, the switch is bad and will have to be replaced. Now we can check the float. It moves up and down with the water level to tell the dishwasher if it's full or empty. Floats are usually made out of plastic. They have a dome shape with a shaft that goes down to the float switch. They're usually located in the front left or right corner of the dishwasher. If the dishwasher won't fill with water, it could be that the float is missing or stuck in the up position. Inspect the float to make sure it moves freely. If it's gunked up, make sure to clean it. If it's damaged or missing, it'll need to be replaced. As always guys, hit those like and subscribe buttons now to help support us making more of these videos. Next we're going to look at the door switch. It's a safety device that won't let the dishwasher start unless the door is closed. Door switches are small micro switches that have a button on one end and wire terminals on the other with a set of contacts inside. Depending upon your dishwasher, there may only be one but most models have two. Some are sold in kits and some are sold separately. They're usually mounted in the latch assembly, which is located in the control panel. If your dishwasher won't fill with water, it could be that the door switches have failed and the dishwasher thinks the door is open instead of closed. In order to test them, we'll have to open up the console and access the latch. Once you have access to the latch, you'll be able to tell if you can get to the wire terminals for testing. If you can't get the wires off, you may have to take the latch out. Once you have access to them, we're going to test them for continuity. Touch a probe to each terminal. It should not have continuity. Then press the button on the switch. When pressed, you should get a continuity reading. Make sure you test both switches. If either are bad, they'll have to be replaced. Last thing to check is the main control board. It sends power to the dishwasher components. The main control board is a computer board that collects data from all the sensors and switches of the dishwasher and controls the various functions. They're usually mounted in the control panel. If the dishwasher won't fill with water, 
It could be that the main control board has failed and isn't sending power to the valve. There are many different designs of main control boards out there, so we can't show you how to test them all here. You'll have to grab your tech sheet and follow the steps to test the board. In this example, you'll have to enter the diagnostic mode and follow the steps to verify that power is being sent to the valve. If during the test you discover that power isn't being sent to the valve, the board will have to be replaced. Now here are those performance tips we mentioned earlier. If your dishes aren't getting as clean as they used to, or there's a funny smell coming from inside, it could be that you need to do some regular maintenance to your dishwasher. First make sure the water temperature is correct. Most manufacturers recommend the water to be around 120 degrees Fahrenheit to clean properly. You can also run the hot water in the sink until it comes out hot to clear out the cold water in the lines before you run the dishwasher. It's important for the spray arms to be clear of dirt and soap residue. Clogged spray arms can prevent the water from spraying out as intended, causing your dishes to remain dirty after a cycle. Simply take a small nail or toothpick and check all the holes on the spray arm. If any are clogged, make sure to clean them out. Be sure not to use anything that will deform the holes. It's important to inspect and clean your dishwasher's filter as well. A clogged filter will prevent the water from cycling through the dishwasher properly and could prevent the dishes from getting clean. Make sure to clean off any residue on the interior walls and gaskets. Also make sure to use a cleaner such as a fresh or glisten on a regular basis to help keep everything clean. Keeping everything clean will allow the water to flow properly and clean the dishes better. It will also reduce stress on the motors and pumps since they won't have to work as hard. Once you take care of the problem, you can plug the appliance in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another troubleshooting video brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons now, and if you have any questions or want to share how your repair went, leave a comment down below.